Alright guys, we are back with the last review for the night, like I discussed in the last one. We have Hex. The Undead Element. Now Hex, you really need patience for. You thought any of the other ones are bad. You can't get her any upgrades, she's so bad at first. Believe me, she's a pain in the ass to play as. For a while, at least. You need her to have upgrades just to get her by to begin with. I didn't find her powerful at all until I gave her a path. Like, she's really that weak at first. Alright, so first off. Hex. Undead Skylander, level 10. 21 heroic challenges done. Hat, does 12 armor and critical hit. Powers. Conjure Phantom Orb. Launch magical orb of spectral energy that track your foes. Rain of Skulls. Hold B down in the Wii Remote to begin casting this spell. When fully charged, ghostly skulls rain down. It's a cool attack, but it takes freaking forever. Wall of Bones. Press Z to create a wall of bones on the Wii Remote. She needs defense right away because she's so weak. Storm of Skulls. Conjure up up to four skulls with your skull rain attack. Bone Fortress, I recommend you get this quickly. The wall of bones is larger and takes more damage to destroy. Because like I said, she needs that defense. Twice the orbage. Press A to shoot two phantom orbs at once. That's a helpful ability. Now path. I took uh, Master Caster instead of the skull route because I really didn't like either path, to be honest, but I just thought she'd be more useful. Long distance orbs. Hold A to increase the range distance of your phantom orbs. Caustic phantom orbs. Phantom orbs do increase damage. Unstable phantom orbs. Phantom orbs explode, damaging nearby enemies. That's probably the best attack she has. Oops. Jesus Christ. My bad, guys. And then her soul gem ability. Skull Shield. Skull Rain knocks away enemies and attacks. Requires Soul Gem and Cadaverous Crypt. Like I told you, Skull Rain takes freaking forever to put up. She's kind of hard to play as, not gonna lie. Can't just be a button masher with her. She takes some strategic usage. So look, I'll conjure up this spell. And watch this. It's not bad. So you hold A, and then the orbs do different stuff. See that? I can't because it's in my way. Let's see, watch this. I'll hold A. Look how much farther they go. See how far that went because I held A? Her speed really isn't that great still, and I have her at max right now. For what I have, I'm missing two speed upgrades still, but she still just doesn't cut it in my book. Not really worth it. Oh, she's cool looking. Now watch this. Bone wall. Put this up, and your defense gets up. It's like crazy. They can break it, but uh, it's harder to do it. Now also... The way you'll break your wall really quickly is just push through it and it'll automatically go down. So, if you don't want it there, don't worry. Once again, like I said. So yeah, I'll charge the skull attack up just for the fans. So you get four in a row, but like I said, it's kind of annoying. So even a charged up skull attack can't kill everything really pisses me off. What the hell is the point of it? You have to take the bone wall route if you want to get the skull speed up. But I read even then it doesn't do that much more time. So I'd rather not. I really care less. Like I said, she's not my favorite undead at all. Chop Chop is so superior to her. Yeah, I just feel like I'd fucking button mash this attack. It's the only thing I can do with her. I may be wrong, but you know, whatever. 
So already, that's Hex in a nutshell. Because like I said, you can't do much with it. Alright, so when we get back, we're going to do the last challenge of the night. See you in a bit.